Grace and peace to you from Grace and Peace to You Gathering here in Lexington, Virginia. So this morning, I made the world's famous pancakes. I took frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries, chunks of dark chocolate meant for baking, a couple eggs, some peaches in a can, and some banana, the glorious pancake mix, some water, mixed it all up, and all this, when you saw it at first, would appear to be a mess. But when it mixed up, it started taking color, and then when it hit my griddle, it started taking form. And then voila, a very tasty pancake, and everybody ate it up. Now, I've got leftovers if you want to want some let me know <laughs> why am I telling you this story it's because it pertains to the Word of God today father help us to understand your ancient truth that is inerrant Holy Spirit inspired that you chose to use faulty men to write it down because your ways are higher than our ways help us to not be arrogant but to be humble in spirit and receive a salvation meant for our souls help us receive the life meant for us because you came into the world not to condemn the world but to save the world father help us to be in the right mind to receive your message in jesus name i pray amen so I would title this message, The Perfect Mess. You and I, we are the perfect mess. We have a mixture of emotional, oftentimes physical, and mental damage, and also positive stuff. Uh, it's not just damage, but we, we're a mix of everything. All of our experiences, all of our relationships, all of our interactions with this world with people and things have molded us into who we are today all the ups and downs and in-betweens all the valleys all the pits of despair the depression the exhilaration everything here and there we are a perfect mess and the good thing is God is a mess fixer yeah you can quote me on that he's a mess fixer because he makes everything perfect in his time and that's in the word and you can look it up now also in the word in Philippians it says he who began a good work and you will complete it well how did he begin this good work you might ask well, I'll tell you in Psalm 139 for it is you, God, who created my inward parts. You see, we are a more advanced supercomputer than any supercomputer ever created, okay? We are more advanced than the AI. We are more advanced than anything on this earth. For one thing to happen in our body to the next, it's an incredible feat. And yes, we are in this age of disease and sickness and we will die but it wasn't meant to be that way and things happen but we're still an incredible incredible specimen and we were uniquely created I just learned the other day that endorphins are carried to the brain through these critters that look like inchworms with Hercules arms are kind of like Groot, actually. They kind of look like Groot. If you've ever watched the Guardians of the Galaxy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And you should, by the way. And I forgot I was watching them. I was wearing a Marvel shirt because I watched Spider-Verse this weekend. But anyway. So there's this Groot-looking character carrying what it looks like a massive ball of endorphin up this kind of like escalator and 
Stuff like that just doesn't happen, friend. You were created. The word, Psalm 139. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wonderfully made. And your works are wonderful. And I know this very well. Unfortunately, our world, our society, and the enemy likes to encourage it. Says otherwise. And, but if we listen to the still small voice of God through despite the clamor of this world we will know to this very well it's not hidden from us it's plainly given for those who seek the truth and I pray that you're a seeker of truth so if he started this good work and created us, put all of our mess together, all these pieces and parts, do you not also think that he can put all of our crazy mess pieces and parts of our interactions and our downfalls, our exaltations, our disappointments, all that, our fall on your flat moment fall flat on your face moments um, all our ups and downs you do not think that he can make something beautiful out of that mess too well I'm here to tell you you can 2 Corinthians 5 17 puts it this way therefore if anyone is in Christ he is a new creation old things have passed away and look New things have come. It, and this in the real Greek translation is everything's new, brand spanking new. You can smell the fresh smell of leather. And it's also becoming new. It's a continual process and the old things have passed away. That means the mess is being turned into something as turned into and also is turning into something awesome like my Wells famous pancakes out of the mess of the mixture that I made. It didn't look very appetizing at first, but man, oh man, when it hit the palate and it went into my belly and now I want to take a nap, it was good. And lastly, remember this, and I've said this a few times, Romans eight twenty eight: all things work out for the good for those who are called by God, called according to his purpose, who love him, everything works out for the good, for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. That means all of our messes work out for the good. The friend, never forget that. Catch you on the flip side. Love to talk more about this. Have a great Sunday. And remember, I've got some Will's pancakes. If you're local and you want one.